Hi! Welcome back to Musician's Edition Practice With Me for Alto Saxophone. I'm your teacher, Risa, and today we're going to work in the Standard of Excellence Book 2, page 10. All right, so there's a few things that we're going to kind of learn and work on today. Uh, the stuff mainly like on the top, but we'll talk about it when we get there. Okay, so let's take a look at exercise 40 warm-up band arrangement. Now this is the piece or the exercise we're going to use just to warm up our embouchures, kind of our fingers, but most importantly our ears. We're going to be listening to tune, tone, all that kind of stuff, okay? So we're not going to use the metronome for this exercise because we're listening, okay? Also take note that it is telling us to use a couple alternate fingerings so first off, let's take a look at what's on our key signature. What do we have going on in our key signature? We have one sharp, F sharp, okay? Tell me about our time signature. Common time, so four, four. Okay, tell me about our tempo. Andante, so slower. Like I said, we're gonna be listening. Okay, so F sharp, alternative. Do you remember what that is? All right, so we have F just like this, right? And then we have this key right here that's a little funky. It's hard to tell because there's so many keys. There's this one, there's this one, there's these three. We're going to use this one here. It's not exactly the bottom one, but this one here. So it's going to be just like F and then we're going to hit that key, okay? F, F sharp using that key. Okay, so let's give this a try. Play slowly. Think of your tone. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. That's all that is. Just listening, playing long tones. So let's do it again. Still listening. Breathe where marked. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four. So I had a little bit of squeeze there on the F natural, that first one there. So let's do it again. Last time. Ready? One, two, three, four. job. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, 41 chromatic capers. All right, so we're going to be talking about something that's on the top of the page, but before we get there, tell me about our key signature. We have no sharps, no flats. Tell me about our time signature. Still in 4-4, four, four, common time. We are going to pick up the tempo a bit. You see it's moderato, so we're going to be going more at a walking pace. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at inharmonics. Now, what is an inharmonic? Well, it's a note that sounds the same, but they are written differently. So if you look on the top of the page here, we have D sharp equals E flat. So why don't we try that? D sharp. <laughs> flat. 
So they're exactly the same note, just written differently. Okay, so D sharp and E flat are the same thing. And it's not only exclusive to those notes, it's exclusive to basically any of them that are like that. So B flat is the same thing as A sharp. G sharp is the same thing as A flat. It goes on and on, but just know that fingers are the same. It's gonna sound the same. You're just thinking different in key signature time, okay? I know it's a little confusing, but after a while of just practicing, it'll be not a big deal. All right, so looking at our example exclusively here, okay, so when we're going up, more than likely we're going to see sharps. So chromatic capers, this is like a short little practice to the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is the scale going all half steps up and then all half steps down. And the way it's written is when you go up, it's written as sharps because you know, sharps half step up. And then when you're descending in the scale, it would be flats because flats are a half step down. That makes sense. So this is kind of like that, except they wrote a little bit more sharps in here. So going up, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, all going up, right? Then we have E natural coming back down to E flat, D, but then they wrote C sharp instead of D flat there. But, you know. So we just have to pay attention a little bit more to our accidentals here, okay? So let's try this first round just real slowly, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. Hopefully that makes sense and didn't overwhelm you too much. D sharp, same thing as E flat. All right, let's do it again a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job. Don't forget to change your C's at some of those measures because it becomes a C natural at the beginning of those measures not marked, okay? Last time, a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, 42, Shenando. I'm assuming that's how that's said. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our key signature. What do we have going on? F sharp. What key signature is that? This is G major. All right, tell me about our time signature. Still in 4-4, four, four, for the most part. Take a look at full measure two. What happens to our time signature? Changes to three. And then line two, what happens? Changes to four, back to three. So we have a little bit of time changes happening in the exercise, okay? So pay attention to that. If you think you're gonna miss it, go ahead and circle it in, okay? Tell me about our dynamics on this one. Mezzo piano, kind of quiet throughout the whole thing. Okay. Tell me about our tempo. Andante. So a little bit on the slower side. Okay. We do have a fermata at the end for video's sake. Let's hold it out for three beats. Okay. If you're playing with the band or a group, make sure you 
follow your conductor or whoever's leading the piece. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. Just play it at a comfortable dynamic and yeah, we'll play it slowly. Just get the feel for the song. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah, and we have the pickup note, which means we're gonna play on beat four. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. So now we kind of have a feel for the song. All right, so let's speed it up a little bit. This time I want you to play it with the proper dynamic. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. It's a little harder to play some of those low notes quietly, isn't it? Like that first D. All right, let's play it one more time for good luck. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> job. All right. On to exercise 43, theme from symphony number 94 from Haydn. Okay, so this is a classical piece. All right, so now we're going to be learning about some articulations. Now, articulation is basically what we're doing with our tongue and how long we're holding out notes for. So, tonguing and slurring is part of articulation. All right. Now we're going to be learning staccato. Okay, look at the top of the page, that middle box there, articulation, staccato. It's the dot placed above or below the note. What it means is to play short and detached. Okay, so for example, what they have there on the top, normally we would play it as ta, 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 right? But when it's staccato, we want to basically try to cut it in half. Ta, 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 ta. We're going to really shorten it up. Okay? So, why don't we just play that top measure there real quick? Hear it first and then play, okay? So, this is what it sounds like. Okay? You hear how it's short, staccato, short, staccato. All right, so let's take a look at we, we let's take a look at what we have going on in 43. So first, tell me about our key signature. What do we have going on? No sharps, no flats. Okay, what key is that? This is C major. Tell me about our time signature. Still in 4/4, and this time we're in 4/4 the whole way through. Perfect. Okay. We are playing softly, and this is still a slower song. Okay, we have things that are marked staccato, and then we do have a little bit of slur action, second to last measure, so that's not going to be staccato. That's going to be all together. All right, so let's give this a try. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. 
right, so you can see that they started this exercise as eighth, eighth note, eighth rest, eighth note, eight rest. And it's to kind of get us in the pattern of what the staccato is like. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that again. That's probably about the right tempo, so we'll stay about there. Next go around, we'll add in the dynamic. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, let's do it one more time. This time, let's add in our dynamic. So we're going to play piano softly. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. job. That's pretty hard to play quietly, isn't it? Ugh, sometimes it takes a little practice though. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise 44, Parade of the Ten Soldiers. All right, so first let's take a look at our key signature. What do we have going on? One sharp, F sharp. What key is this? G major. Perfect. Tell me about our time signature. Still in 4-4, four, four, and the whole thing's 4-4 four, four, uh, throughout. Excellent. All right. Tell me about our tempo. Allegretto. So take a look on the top of our page here, third box. That means light and lively, slightly slower than allegro. So it's still fast, but not as fast. <laughs> okay. All right, so now looking ahead, tell me about our dynamics. Mezzo forte, kind of loud. We're going to just play comfortably the whole way through. Easy as pie. We can see that we have some staccatos going on, so we'll need to take note of that. Our eighth notes are not staccato, though, so we'll play them out full amount. And we do have some accidentals, so you see there in full measure, one, two, three, four. We got C sharp and then C natural written in. We also have a repeat going on on line two. Where does that repeat take us to? Almost the beginning. We're just going to cut out that uh, pickup note. All right. So speaking of the pickup note, we have a pickup note, which means we're going to come in on beat four. All right. Let's give this a try. We'll take it slowly first. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Now, it might have thrown you off a little bit uh, within those repeat brackets where we have the rests just because we were playing those staccato short. That means we are going to be resting what feels like longer. So make sure you hold those rests out for what they are, okay? Ta. So it's ta. 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 Rest. Rest. Ta. Ta. All right. So just make sure you count those and hold them out for their proper durations. All right, let's play it again a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
job. All right, now we're gonna play it even faster. Let's play it up to tempo, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, on to exercise 45 for alto saxophones only. So tell me, what do we have going on in our key signature? F sharp and C sharp, what key is that? Key of D major. Tell me about our time signature. Common time, still in 4-4. Tell me about our tempo. Allegro, so fast and lively. All right, now the articulation on this one is we're mainly gonna be slurring, okay? So give that tongue a break. All right, we'll take this slowly and we'll work our way. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. So with this one, you're going to hear a little bit, uh, your fingers might not all be in sync. I had a little bit of, a lot of musicians or teachers will call it a blip. A blip. All right. I had a little bit of a blip. All right. Let's do it again, though, but let's speed it up. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. I still had a little bit of that blip. It's between the D and the F. Not all fingers are in sync. You might have that problem. So that might just be the best thing to do is kind of go back and forth between the two notes for a little bit. All right. Let's do it one more time though with the um, up to tempo. If you are having little blips, don't worry about it for now, but Make sure you take your metronome and practice it at a proper pace and work your way there. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. I still had that blip. Ah, that means I'll have to be practicing. All right. We do have a couple extra exercises on page 40, so don't go yet. So to page 40. And that's exercise 45. So, oh, it's just one more exercise. Okay, so last exercise of the day. 45 on page 40. Okay, so tell me about our key signature. We have one flat, B flat. So that's a little bit of a different key there. Do you know what key this is? Do you remember? F major. Okay, tell me about our time signature. Still in 4-4. Four, four. Now this one's gonna have a little bit more articulation work. We don't have any staccatos, but we do have tonguing and then some slurs in there, okay? So pay attention to that. All right, let's start this off slowly and then we'll speed it up. Ready? And remember, B flat is what's in our key signature, so that means F naturals. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, I don't think we were caught. I don't think we were quite warmed up for the higher register now, were we? Everything we played was like lower and mid. Okay, so let's do this again a little bit faster. Ready? And make sure you're paying attention to articulation this time. Ta 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 ta. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Excellent job. All right. Last time, a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job. Woo. All right. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, notify, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our practices. Thanks for joining and until next time.